Previous studies demonstrated that extremes of BMI are associated with poor outcomes in other surgical settings. Hence, better understanding of the association of obesity on outcomes of paraesophageal hernia repair becomes a critical issue. And this study will potentially support surgeons to make the evidence-based decisions on the surgical candidacy. 884 patients had undergone surgical repair for giant paraesophageal hernia in our cohort between 2000 and 2020. We categorized BMI according to the WHO uh, classification and we assessed BMI association with the surgical outcomes, which included perioperative blood loss, length of stay, major postoperative complications, early recurrence of hernia, and mortality in 30 and 90 days. The data of each patient were assorted according to BMI categories, and the mean age was 68 years. 73% were female. The mean BMI was 29.24, and the median percentage of intrathoracic stomach was 75%. There was a wide variety of surgical approaches to paraesophageal hernia repair, and the median blood loss was found to be 35 ml. The median length of stay was 3 days. 2.5% of the patient had major complications, and 5.5% had recurrent hernia. Only three mortalities resulted in the score. Multivariable regression analysis was done. We found no correlation between surgical outcomes and BMI. We conclude that BMI was not associated with increased blood loss, postoperative complications, length of stay, mortality rate, or rate of recurrent hernia. Although preoperative weight loss is advisable, higher BMI should not preclude or delay surgical management of giant paraesophageal hernia. Thank you.